Chemistry with Mom Bell. And if you're new to this channel, Lovely Deal with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified in my upcoming videos, okay? In this video, I will be discussing on solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility. Okay, so let's go now to our main topic, which is a routine and non-routine problem. So what is a routine and non-routine problem? Routine problem is a type of problem which there is an immediate solution. Or shall I say, it's a simple word problem. Okay? What about non-routine problem? A non-routine problem, on the other hand, is a problem which requires analysis and insights into known principle of mathematics. It involves difficult problem solving or we need to solve this kind of problem using strategies. And to answer routine and non-routine problem, we can apply the Polyas technique in solving word problem. So first, you have to understand and then plan Solve and check. So here are the guide questions for you to be able to answer the word problems like what is asked, what are given, what operation will be used, what is the number sentence, uh, give the complete answer, and check and look back. Okay, so let's try to have this example. The directions are solve the following problems and answer the questions that follow. Okay? Mrs. Marcelo has to split 24 pupils in her class into different groups with equal number of pupils each. Not all pupils can be in one group and each group has to have more than one pupil. In how many ways can she form these groups? Of course, we have to follow the steps in solving word problem by George Folia. First is you have to understand the problem first. And by understanding, you have to know what is asked. Okay, this is one of the guided questions. And in how many ways can Mrs. Marcelo form these groups? That is our problem. Then, followed by what are the given facts? And our given fact is 24 pupils. Then after understanding the problem, you have now to plan. You are going to proceed with planning. Okay, so what are you going to do with the problem? Of course, you have to know the operations to be used, the methods, the procedure, and of course, the strategy. And in our problem, we need to uh, find the factors of 24. We can also use multiples of 24 and the divisibility rules. And of course, after planning, we need to solve our problem, okay, by showing your solution. So, as you can see, we planned, uh, in order to get the final answer, you can use factoring, okay? So, first, we have to find the factors of 24. So, what are the factors of 24? 24 can be 2 times 12, 3 times 8. What else? We also have 4 times 6, 6 times 4, 8 times 3, and 12 times 2. Okay, so you can group 24 into 6 ways by groups of 2 with 12 members, groups of 3 by 8 members, group of 4 by 6 members, group of 6 by 4 members, group of 8 by 3 members, and group of 12 by 2 members. Another way to solve this problem is to get the numbers on the given factors, then find the multiples of each number till you reach 24. So multiples of 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We also have multiples of 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Also multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 
16, 20, 24. And multiples of 6, 6, 12, 8, and 24. And multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, and 24. And multiples of 12, we have 12 and 24. So those are the multiples uh, of a given factor until we reach 24. Another way to solve this problem is to test the divisibility, okay? So, identify the number that can divide 24 equally. So, you all know that 24 is divisible by 2. So, you can form uh, 12 groups out of 24 with 2 members. And 24 also is divisible by 3. So, you can form 8 groups with 3 members. 24 is divisible by 4. So, you can form 6 groups with 4 members. You can also divide 24 by 6. You can form 4 groups with 6 members. And 8 with 3 groups and 8 members. And you can also divide 24 by 12 with 2 groups of 12 members. So, all in all, you can uh, divide 24 in 6 ways or you can group the pupils in 6 ways. So therefore, there are 6 ways to form a group. And the last step that we are going to follow according to George Polia in solving word problem is check and look back. Okay? Based from our problem, we have to refer to the table above. So just state the complete answer. So, there are six ways that Mrs. Marcelo can form the groups. Let's have another example. James is willing to give a reward to whoever guesses his age this year. His clues state that his age is divisible by 12 and his multiple of 9 and that he is less than 51 years old. How old is James? Of course, according to George Polia, we have to follow the steps in solving word problem. We have first, understand. Okay, so in understanding, we have to follow the guide question. So, know what is asked. In our problem, the age of James this year is what is asked. And then, know what are the given facts. Here we have age is divisible by 12, age is multiple of 9, age is less than 51 and then next is to plan what are we going to do what strategies can we use to solve this problem okay so since there are just a few numbers less than 51 which are divisible by 12 and 9 we will use listing method and elimination then after planning we have to solve so, you have to show the solution, of course. So, James' age is less than 51. So, our range is from 1 to 50. So, listing all numbers divisible by 12 within that range, we have 12, 24, 36, and 48. And also, another clue is that his age is a multiple of 9. Among the four members, we can eliminate 12, 24, and 48 because the only number that is multiple of 9 is 36. Therefore, James' age is 36. And the last step in solving word problem according to George Polia is check and look back. Here, we are going to check if our answer is correct. So, we will check if our answer satisfies the clues provided by James. So, 36 is divisible by 12, 36 is a multiple of 9, and 36 is less than 51. So, therefore, James is 36 years old. So, what have you learned today? You have learned that routine problem is a type of problem which there is an immediate solution, and non-routine problem is a problem which requires analysis and insights into known principle of mathematics. It involves difficult problem solving. And we have also uh, steps to, so to follow in solving word problem. So you have to understand, plan, 
solve and check. And we also have guide questions here. So in understand, what is asked, what are given, and in planning, you have to know what is the strategy to be used in the problem, what operation will be used, what is the number sentence, and we also have solve. In solving, you have to give the complete answer, and then in checking, you have to check and look back. Okay, so it's practice time! Here's the directions. Solve the problem below by using the four-step plan. Use a separate sheet of paper or your math activity notebook. So you're, you'll be given 10 minutes to answer this problem. Okay? Enjoy working!
Okay, so time is up. You can check your answer here. Okay, so for number one, now what is asked? Common number of small pots. And what are given? So the given facts are 36 mango seeds, 33 corn seeds. And determine the operation, method, procedure to be used. You have find the common factors by listing method. Okay? And then in, sol in your solution, so you're going to get the uh, listing method, the factors of 33. You have 1, 3, 11, and 33. 36, the factors of 36 are 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, and 36. And the common factor of 33 and 36 is 3. Okay, so in number 4, check and look back. So you have to divide 33 by 3, the answer is 11. 36 divided by 3, the answer is 12. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye-bye.